you are welcome to network pips so in our previous video we created our first freestyle job and we saw how we were able to use some of our build automation tools like java uh, maybe npm uh, in this job but in in our in today's modern devops devops environment things are more complex and you know more sophisticated this our freestyle job will not give us that flexibility that we require to you know to logically script our pipeline for example if i want to create this job i need to come to this our jenkins ui click on new new item give it a name and the, the, the job you no know? we're always doing it via ui which is going against our devops culture of managing our infrastructure as a code so going forward for a more uh, complex activity and uh, also for uh, for this uh, for a more complex activity uh, of building our application uh, we are going to be using you know uh, this pipeline job for this class and also for a uh, future class as well so i'm going to go ahead and give it a name initial pipeline i'm going to click ok to create this pipeline then it's going to bring us to this configuration page let's go down to the bottom this is what we are doing this is where we want to start writing our pipeline code which is this the scripting language is based on a groovy language it's more like java language so i know how it feels like when we want to know uh, getting to uh, use a programming language for the first time you don't know where to start and you don't you don't feel a lot of fuzzy for you uh, don't worry we have kind of a template here which you can use Click on this drop down you're going to see this template it's going to show you how this language looks like don't worry about what all these commands does now i'm going to explain in much more detail in now in my next video we are going to build our first pipeline but for this class what we'll be uh, doing now is to connect our you know our our jenkins to our remote repository github but are we going to be scripting our pipeline uh, on this console like this no it has also it also defeats the purpose of you no know, uh, managing our configurations and infrastructure as a code so what's what it means that all our configuration will be checked in into our source code management of the application and it will automatically pick it and deploy this uh, deploy deploy our infrastructure for us so we won't be using this particular script on this console rather we'll be making use of the source script uh, the script that will be on our source code management so i'm going to change it to this pipeline script from source code management so it's going to ask me which source code management i want to use i'm going to use git so git is going to help me connect to my remote repository which is github or GitLab or bitpocket whichever one you are making use of then you're going to specify the repository which you want to build from but before we do that we need to configure our credential because we don't have any credentials correctly configured i'm going to click on add then add click on this jenkins now remember github does not support uh logging in to the account using a uh, uh, username and password rather what it supports is uh, using ssh private keys no ssh keys so i'm going to use change it to ssh keys then come here i'll give it a name github github ssh key i'm going to copy the same name it doesn't matter the name you give it you can give it any name you're going to give the uh the username as default then uh going to click on enter private key directly I'm going to click on add now where can we get this private key we're going to get it from your jenkins container so i'm going to go back to my uh, application then i'm going to uh, log in to my jenkins container which is docker exec interactive terminal then jenkins bash then from here we need to generate our private key and public Keepers using SSH keeper just like the way we did on you know on the GitHub class. SSH keeper 
each end is going to show you uh it's going, it's going to generate the big public and private key pair and it's going to store it in this directory so you can you are going to take note of this guy and get your private key and public key here asking for passphrase i don't want anyone i'm going to click okay this will generate my key then the first key which i want to cut is my private key which is on val jenkins.ssh id as a rate so the one the ID RSA that doesn't have any dot pop is your private key. The one that, that has dot pop is your public key. So I'm going to first of all cut the one without dot pop, which is my private key. You can see it, private key. I'm going to copy it like this down to here. Then copy. I'm going to go back to my browser and paste that private key here. Then come here and I'll add it. So this is how you add your private key, key pair to your Jenkins uh, credentials. Then I'll go back to my console here, to my terminal here. I want to cut the public key, which I'll add on the GitHub side. I'm going to copy this public key as well. Make sure you are not copying any additional space, otherwise it will not work. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come back here, go to my GitHub. Click my profile, then go to settings. I'm going to right click and open this my settings on a new tab. Then go to SSH, then click on add new key. Then I want to give it a name, Jenkins key, then paste it, then add this key. I've added this key. This is how you can connect your Jenkins, uh, Jenkins uh, build to with your with your github account this is also applicable to every other uh, remote repository as well it's not only just github so i'm going to come here i'm going to copy my remote repository click on ssh and i'll copy it but before i do that before i clone this repository using my uh, jenkins tool I'm going to make sure that I change it to private. You can see it's currently on public. So I want to show you that even though it's on private, public now anybody can access it, but private is only the person that have access to this repository that can the credentials to this repository can access it. So I'm going to click on settings to change it to private. Scroll down to the bottom, change visibility, change to private. Yes, I want to change it to private. I want to then make this repository private. Then it has been it's now on private it's like if i click back here now you can see it's currently on private so i'm going to go back here i'm going to come here and i'm going to paste my repository here i click here it's going to uh accept these credentials for me now for yours have uh, it's going to point you maybe an error that you are able to you know uh, authenticate to this repository let me show you that error in a bit so let me take for example i remove uh the known file i have here i'm going to remove that file i'm show you i will show you what will happen for example because i've ssh to this remote repository before so that's why it's not giving me error so if i click on this ad click on my credentials come here and i paste this guy it's going to point me this particular error that's yeah, I'm not able to authenticate to this remote repository. Now, what is currently happening is that each time you are trying to SSH to the uh, to a host for the first time, you know, uh, it's going to try to authenticate that host and the fingerprint. Now, you're going to type yes, just like the way you are doing when you are doing SSH, SSH into a server. It's going to ask you, do you want to accept this fingerprint? You click yes. Now, it's pending on accepting that there is no way it can it can uh, type yes automatically for itself because it's just a tool so how can we do that is either we can come here and add add it as a you know on this host file or you can ssh clone ssh to that uh, github first then it will know that github or you can do it from your uh, Jenkins console UI. Let me show you how you can do that on your Jenkins UI. So you can come here, go to manage Jenkins, scroll down, click on security, scroll down to the last part. You can see 
is going to be using very key host key verification strategy is going to be using the host file which i just did there so because of this that my github account is already on that guy so that's why i didn't point finger error i'm going to change it back to asset first connection so asset first connection means that it's going to automatically accept any host that is connect that is trying to connect for the first time it is fingerprint but immediately the fingerprint of that host changes in feature it's not gonna accept that connection so i'm going to go ahead and save this and go back to my uh, repository i'm going to close this and add this repository again add my credentials then come here and i'll add this then it's not gonna give me this error so that's how you can solve this error of failed connection so i'm going to scroll down i'm going to see the script part now this jenkins file means that uh, means that which what is the um uh, uh it's a test file that will contain our you know declarative compilation command which we can use to you know build our cicd pipeline another information another uh, thing you need to take note of is the branch which we are building from currently is now is on master i'm going to delete this i'm going to change it to develop branch because i want to build from the develop branch so i'm going to change this to develop i'm going to show you so this is the branch which i want to build from you can see i don't i currently don't have that jenkins file here so my build will not be successful i'm going to save it and uh, i will show you in a bit so i've created this this my uh, i'm done uh, confirm my uh, my 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 cicd i'm going to build this to see what will happen so i'm going to go ahead and try to check out that branch and it will fail you can see now why did it fail let's click on this and find out go to console output and it's going to show you error and you're able to find the jenkins file in this repository now it's able to connect to this repository but it's not able to find this jenkins file now in our next class that is where we are going to start from and we are going to see how we can create uh, this jenkins file and commit it to our source code management of that application and we're able to build a simple cicd uh, uh, pipeline from there but with that that will bring us to the end of this particular class don't forget to like my video and uh, you know subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed that's the only way you can subscribe uh, support me and also leave a comment on the comment section if you have any question see you in my next video